friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis, and today we have another Mega Construct set. This is from the Call of Duty line. This is the Assault Drone, and it consists of 97 pieces, including one micro action figure. Let's go ahead and crack it open. So this set originally retailed for about $10 here in the US. Um, I was able to pick it up at Ross for $3.99. So if you happen to have a Ross near you and you're interested in this, you might want to check there because you might be able to get it for a bit less than retail. If we look at the back of the box, you can see what it looks like all built up, as well as the accessories that are included, and then some pictures of the set in action with some alternate builds and things. So. All right, so here we have the Assault Drone from Mega Constructs. As you can see, we have one micro action figure, the drone, a little bit of terrain, and some accessories. Let's go ahead and take a look at each of these components individually, starting with this micro action figure. All right, here we have our micro action figure. Uh, he is more or less undressed at this point. There are no accessories on him, with the exception of this uh, little uh, pouch on his belt. Um, he's got a nice tan shirt, and as you can see, there are some speckles of gray in there. Uh, that's one of the things that uh, Mega Constructs does very well is they um, simulate camouflage or you know worn clothing by putting speckles of things. They also do that with their bricks and terrain pieces to give them a little bit more depth and uh, realism, which is kind of cool. The set is pretty good. There is no removable helmet, but the helmet itself, the sculpt is good with those goggles up there. And he's got a uh, protective mask because he is in the desert and uh, doesn't want to breathe in too many of those dust particles and of course the goggles will protect his eyes. Some kind of orangish tan pants and tan boots. Uh, like all the Mega Constructs figures he is articulated at the head on a ball joint so he can look up and down and from side to side. He's articulated at the waist so he can twist from side to side. Arms can go up, rotate all the way around, bends at the elbow, twists at the elbow and the wrists are articulated as well, and they twist at the leg and the hips. He can bend at the knee and at the waist, and then the legs can splay about so far. Uh, the action figure stand is pretty good. It, it looks like a piece of terrain, kind of, so better than just a basic uh, 2x4 plate. He has a belt that has these little pegs on them, and that is uh, their system for attaching accessories like this pouch. Um, he does come with several accessories, so let's go ahead and put some of those on him so you can see what that looks like. And first up, he has this tactical vest, which is very well done. Um, the vest has some of those little pegs as well, so we've been able to attach an extra magazine for his rifle there. And then around the back, you can see some more detail. There's also that hole there, and that's a peg hole so that you can attach a backpack that is also included. So let's go ahead and take a look at that as well. All right, and here's that backpack, and it's very well detailed. As you can see, there are also a couple of pegs for accessories to be attached. Um, and that just slips right into the back on that peg hole. The figure also includes an assault rifle, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. But it can use two different sources of ammunition. There's the magazine that is clipped to his tactical vest at the moment, but it also includes a larger drum magazine type thing or a, a belt-fed ammo box that attaches this is kind of a cool feature. Um, all of these weapons, or most of these weapons from Mega Constructs, are modular. So you can take off their magazines, or in this case the ammo box. You can swap out barrels. Um, the upper and lower is all one piece, but the stock is removable. And you can interchange these parts. You can add a scope to the top or a red dot. Um, so they have some kind of cool uh, customization available on these weapons as well. And so here we have that kind of ammo box situation. And that looks very nice. And there's the same weapon with the standard magazine instead. We've also included this sling so you can uh, pull the weapon over the shoulder of the soldier and that's kind of a, a rubbery type piece and it just slips over the barrel and the buttstock. That works fairly well. If we look at the other side and you look at the magazine, you can see the little hole there, and that is where the uh, little pegs go so that you can attach um, the magazine to his backpack or belt or whatever other piece of um, 
accessory that you want to attach it to. Pretty cool. And finally we have the figure all decked out with his weapon, tactical vest, backpack, and everything else. As you can see I've attached that spare magazine to the backpack this time. And overall, I think this is a pretty cool figure. This is not a named figure from Call of Duty, so this is just a generic in-game computer-generated figure, I guess. But uh, pretty well detailed and goes well with the set. This is our assault drone. As you can see, he's got a rather large caliber machine gun attached. These treads are pretty cool. They're kind of rubbery. There's a little bit of give to them, and they roll fairly well. The smaller wheels in the middle don't really roll unless they get some traction, otherwise they, they miss a lot. But if you're on a carpet or something and putting any kind of pressure, they'll catch. But it looks pretty good regardless. Um, this turret can elevate up and down and twist from side to side, which is kind of nice. There is this, uh, I guess, kind of targeting camera or something up attached there at the top. And then we have this grenade launcher thing on the other side. And there is a manual override for this guy, so there's a handle back here so that it can be operated uh, manually rather than by remote. This build was kind of interesting. Lots of small pieces, um, but this whole thing is done upside down. So these wheel assemblies down here, or the uh, axle assemblies, are stud side down. So as you can see, we have these plates down here. And then there are some inversion plates which is kind of a cool piece that Mecha Constructs has. Um, and that has, it's basically a plate, but it has studs on both sides, which allows you to re reverse the, uh, the way the studs line up. So that's kind of a, a cool technique. Here we have an ammo box for the machine gun. And uh, I guess these are maybe rockets or something or ammo for the, the rocket launcher, grenade launcher thing. But anyway, kind of a cool little drone build. We also have this piece of terrain, it's a little bit of a blown out wall or something, and a barrel, and that's just on one of their smaller base plates. This is one of those pieces that has the uh, marbleized color down here, and then these bricks also have some specks of other color too, so just adds a little bit of detail and realism, which is kind of nice. The barrel piece, you can see, has some of that as well. The laptop that is used to control the drone has a nice print for the screen there. Hopefully you can see that. And then the keyboard piece, and then of course that can close up into a small portable thing. And that's about it. So as I said, this retails generally for about $10 in the US. I picked it up for just under $4 at my local Ross. Uh, Ross, if you don't know, is just a kind of a discount merchandise store where they sell mostly clothing and home goods, but uh, they do from time to high, time to time have some uh, toys available, and Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks seem to be fairly frequent finds there for me. Uh, I found a few Lego things, but mostly it's been Mega Constructs, and they also have some other cheapy Lego knockoffs, a laser light or something, just light up bricks that don't appeal to me much. Um, but anyway, this was $4 and uh, I think a pretty good deal. Uh, I'm very happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And until next time, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.